morning everybody so I kind of figured it was gonna be one of those days my guy he, well he said he didn't have nothing but I always stay <laughs> stay behind now to, <coughs> to check <coughs> but uh we did have this I got for five bucks South Park I don't for some reason I don't ever really find this one and it's kind of desirable so good deal five bucks um yeah so I'm just gonna keep walking around if I find something, I will show you guys. There we go. 60 bucks. He just gave me that a slingshot. Uh, there's all the cables. Three empty cases. But that hard gold is pretty sweet. This minty bad boy. The case is cool too. Game Boy portable uh, carry-all. Let's see. Open it up. Clean, clean. Works great too. And then two Nintendos, so pretty sweet, 60 bucks, just gonna keep buying stuff from him, he says he's gonna bring me Mario Kart next week, so can't wait, so yeah, I'll see you guys on uh, Sunday. How much do you want per game? Well, I, I mean that or, or per game, because I have a Sega. What are you thinking? About 45, just because it's a Sega. If it was Nintendo, I could see that, but 45 for, for all the, I'll do that. Okay, thank you. Well, you guys saw that one. Um, that was pretty good. That guy, that guy always weird to me. Like he, sometimes he, he doesn't, he says he doesn't have stuff and then he has it later. Like, I don't know, he doesn't remember, but I, I walk up, I said, you have anything? He said, no. And then he's like, well, I have Sega. Yeah, that's something. He pulls it out and I saw it when he was setting the box down. I saw the Mutant League football. So I got everything for 45 bucks. That's unheard of at the swap meet. So I'm, I'm stoked on that. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear because the music in the background, I'll probably have to edit out the sound. But yeah, 45 bucks, can't beat that. I didn't expect to get anything good today. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep going around and looking for that good stuff. I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't think it's gonna rain, but uh, it sure doesn't doesn't look like there's a lot of people here. Yeah, it opened up early today, so. yeah I saw that. I was all waiting in my car for them to open, and then I see that everybody's already going in. Like, oh crap! Better hurry up. 
What's up, man? I did. I, I did find all the good stuff. What you find? Sega Genesis. Mutant League, uh, Mutant League Football, Rocket Night Adventures. All right, guys. I'm done with the swap meet. Not a whole lot, but some all right stuff. Uh, another but, uh, buddy of mine. He usually hooks me up with stuff on Wednesdays. Um, he was here today, and he had uh, some other stuff. So, in his bag is an N64 uh, pink DS Lite, um, working condition. With some girls game in it. Devil May Cry 2, and then two controllers because he came up later and gave me another controller. Uh, Thirty bucks. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, the way I see it is GameStop gives 35 bucks for just the system with one controller. So that'll make the DS Lite and everything else free and get five bucks profit. So I can trade for something. Um, then you guys saw the, the Sega stuff. Uh, pretty stoked on that one. That was a pretty good find. Um, didn't, didn't expect to find that much today just because this the swap meet hasn't really been super great. Been doing better at garage sales, which is way better. I mean, yesterday, and you know, I hit a home run and found those dollar games. So, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm on my way home. I'll get everything together from uh, Wednesday and today, and uh, show you guys what I got. See you in a bit. What's up, everybody? <clears throat> so all done with the swap meet stuff, and it was a pretty good week. Um, not a whole lot on uh, on Wednesday, but. Uh, Today, I found some pretty amazing stuff, um, Sunday. So, yeah, let's uh, jump into it. So, first, um, two two finds from Tuesday. I don't, I mean, I, I try to go on Tuesdays as much as I can, but not a lot. And, and uh, there's only been a few times where I found really good stuff. But this this time around, there was, there was nothing really, um, anything, there wasn't anything there to film or anything. So, there's just a couple pickups here. Stuff that I, you know, it was too good to pass up. So first, um, asked this guy if he had games, and he had a bunch of DS games and 3DS games. Um, he had a bunch of the, the kids' DS games sitting out, so I asked him you know, if he had any others, and he had a bunch of Pokemon games, but he was asking like way too much. Um, but for this game, he only wanted five bucks, uh, and I have the case and manual of this one. Uh, Animal Crossing Wild World. So five bucks on that one, pretty good. And then, um, <clears throat> as I was leaving, there was a guy that had, uh, he has games sometimes, um, but this time around he had a bunch of uh, controllers and a power cable. So first I'll show you the power cable. Um, we got a power adapter for an N64. Now these are always good to pick up if they're cheap, because um, you know, these are some, if you ever find a system and it's missing the power cable, it's always good to just have backups. So. Um, so that, and then he had five of these bad boys, the Logitech uh, PS2 controllers. Four of them came with uh, the, the, the wireless adapters. So I'll show you the other ones. He had them taped up like this. So, see these ones right here? Those ones have the wireless adapter. There's only one that didn't have it. Um, there's the last one. So five of these guys um so i got the five controllers and the power adapter for 20 bucks um that's <laughs> that's a really good deal because these controllers alone you know which as long as you have the the wireless adapter go for around that so um that was a really really great deal um okay so that was it for tuesday like i said nothing special um just cool to have these these are really good controllers um you know for the for the longest time i I come across these, I used to come across these quite often, and, and I didn't know that they were such a good controller and in high demand kind of thing, so I usually would just give them away or get rid of them. I, now I just, I pretty much keep them now, you know, because they, they work really well, so good uh, wireless controller for the PS2. 
All right, so now let's uh, <clears throat> let's jump into Wednesday. So my guy didn't have anything. Um, I still stuck around because there's been times where he says he doesn't have anything and he doesn't he didn't know that he had the stuff. It was like buried in a box. So I stuck around and waited until he started pulling stuff out and I found this just sitting uh, where he has like bags and stuff. Um, but uh, it was just sitting right there. South Park got it for five bucks. So pretty good deal. One 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 N sixty four game that I don't really come across too often. So, um, okay. So next, this one. This was from. He's a the he's a guy that puts out boxes for storage units. Um, he is the one that sells to that scum reseller guy, and we keep telling him like we'll give you more because this the reseller guy doesn't if he tells him a price and he doesn't want to pay it and won't go any lower than he leaves and doesn't you know buy anything so he did that this time and you know pretty bad move on him so while he was he had a couple little bins with toys and stuff like that in it um so while he was messing with those i was digging around and i found three empty cases um for spyro games so we've got spyro the dragon um that's the only one that's the like the player's choice or, or the greatest hits or whatever actually i'm, I'm pretty sure that the, the case and the backing or whatever is black label, but the manual is the greatest hits. And then the other two, uh, Spyro, Year of the Dragon, and this one's got the lenticular cover. I don't know if you guys can tell right there. But the one that I had didn't have that. And then uh, yeah. Spyro, Ripto's Rage. So all, all case and manuals, um, pretty good. Uh, so we got those for, what did I pay? Two bucks, I believe. Yeah, um, two bucks for all three of those. So then um, the reseller guy walked away because he didn't want to pay what the guy wanted. So, you know, he took off. Um, well, he had this in one of the bins with the toys. Pretty, like, mint condition uh, DS Lite. This is the crimson and black. Um, this variant's a little harder to find. Um, but, uh, I mean... Great condition, works great, uh, screens aren't scratched, the top is just mint. Um, really nice condition, 10 bucks on that one. So I, all day long, I'll pay 10 bucks for these. Um, okay, so this will be, this next thing is the last thing. I got this at the swap meet, but it wasn't from any vendors at the swap meet. This is from a buddy of mine. Um, he keeps bringing me stuff, you know, he, he mostly hunts for toys action figures and stuff like that and whenever he finds video game stuff he picks it up well he used to just hold on to it but he doesn't have any need or want for them so he's selling me the stuff so this time around he brought me a couple good things um, for 60 bucks these are empty cases we got Pokemon heart gold so that's a good empty case right there Pokemon white and Pokemon platinum and then uh, two Nintendos. These both came with uh, cables and one controller, I believe. So we got one Nintendo right there. Pretty clean, too. And then there's the other guy. And then this uh, original Game Boy. It came in this Game Boy uh, As Acai Wear Portable Carry All. So pretty sweet. Um, open, it, open it up. The inside there was a uh, Frogger, and then the Game Boy. It's kind of hard to take out of this case, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. But it's like really nice condition. Game Boy, and then um, headphones. I don't, I don't know if these headphones are original to this or what, but yeah, the headphones were in here. Um, so pretty nice, really nice condition Game Boy, like mint, almost mint condition. Um, so yeah, all of that stuff for uh, 60 bucks. Not a, not a bad deal. I mean, you know, I'm going to keep buying stuff from him. He actually, uh, next next time I see him, he, he might be bringing me uh, Sunset Riders and Mario Kart. So, we'll see about that. Alright, so that was it for Wednesday. Now, Sunday. Um, I didn't really have any high hopes for this one because the swap meet's been kind of bad on Sunday. Um, but it actually paid off. So, walking around, um, go up to one of the guys who usually has stuff. Um, well, it's hit or miss. He has it sometimes and sometimes he doesn't. But this time... He had something. So I asked him, you know, you have anything? And at first he was like, no, no. Um, I was looking through a box. And I was like, just this miscellaneous stuff? He's like, yeah. And then he's like, well, actually, I have a Sega. 
And I was like, oh, okay. So he pulls it out, and, I, and you know, I, I saw a couple of the games, so I got excited. So, um, so yeah, the Sega Genesis. I ended up, I wanted, I was just going to get just the games, a couple of the games, but he gave me such a good deal on the whole bundle, I couldn't pass it up. So 45 bucks, I got the whole Sega bundle. So Sega Genesis Model 2 came with uh, cables, two controllers, and then a bunch of games. I'll go through the loose ones first. We got Simpsons, Bart vs. Space Mutants, Beavis and Butthead, probably one of my uh, favorite games on the Genesis, <clears throat> Aladdin, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, Toy Story, Sonic 1, and this one, <laughs> it's... Uh, kind of uncommon because it's not the not for resale version. So you always see the not for resale version. Not like it makes much difference, but kind of cool. And then uh, Sonic 2. And then we got some uh, cased ones. All of these except um, this one right here is is missing the manual. This was the only one that was complete. Uh, Batman Returns. That was the only one complete. Every every other one is just missing the manual. Uh, Alien 3. Altered Beast, probably, I'd say probably the one of the best ones in the lot. Uh, this I definitely saw this game when he was bringing down the box. Mutant League Football. I've never found this one in the wild. Um, I have it already. I got it at a trade at an expo, but I've never found it in the wild. So pretty cool to find it in the wild. The Lost Vikings. Here's uh, the other really good one. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures. Brutal Paws of Fury, T2 the Arcade Game, T2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day, X-Men, and the last two, uh, Sega Classics uh, Revenge of Shinobi, didn't have that one, and General Chaos. So some, some some uncommon games in there, um, pretty good, you know, 45 bucks, I couldn't pass up that deal. Um, so after that, that that was like, as far as swap meet finds go, that was pretty much it. So my buddy, um, he was actually there again, and uh, he had some stuff that he brought along with him. Um, so I ended up buying uh, all the stuff that he had. So first, he had a N64, um, came with uh, cables, one controller, nice stick too. And then a couple games here. Also this, uh, he had a, a pink DS Lite. Pretty clean. Works really good. And then uh, Disney Princess Magical Jewels was inside the DS Lite. Um, for the Game Boy Advance, we got Tetris Worlds. And then a PS2 game, uh, Devil May Cry 2. Um, so initially that was 25 bucks. And then he came up to me later and he found this controller, another, you know, nice N64 controller, tight stick, five bucks. So 30 bucks for everything. That was a pretty good deal. Like I, like I said earlier, um, you know, if, if I did want to, uh, GameStop takes these in and gives you 35 trade credit just for this and one controller and the cables. So that, that's actually really good. So if I was going to do that, um, but yeah, that, that's everything for the swap meets. It was pretty good, you know. I, I, don't, I don't have any complaints. Um, that Sega Genesis score, that's that was a nice one. I haven't had a really good uh, Genesis score in a while, so pretty happy with that, adding a, a couple of games to my collection. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this swap meet video. So, thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.